Hey, what's up guys? It's me. I'm still making YouTube videos. Here I am, making a YouTube video. I think it's hilarious that like all of the little kids nowadays are like, I want to be a YouTuber. And then every YouTuber is at some point or another getting on and being like, This is the worst mistake of my life. I have panic attacks every hour of every day. I want to die. And then kids are like, that's my dream job right there. Sign me to fetch up, dude. Anyways. That's not what I'm talking about today. I want to, I'm going to use that joke later in another video. So like, don't get mad at me when I do that. But right now I want to talk about video games because that's what I do. All I think about is video games. That's the only thing that's inside of my brain is just a bunch of video games, specifically scary games. Five Nights at Freddy's the movie just came out and I thought it was pretty good. I'm not here to talk about the movie. I'm hardly even here to talk about Five Nights at Freddy's. Kind of actually, this video is all about Five Nights at Freddy's though. That's that's that was an absolute complete lie. I'll be honest. I don't know how many people of you guys remember way back in the day when the scary games were slender. Every single game was the slender game, and that game blew up because it was really scary and it was very different. The earliest scary games are like Resident Evil, which is like one of the oldest prime examples of a scary video game. And I think it's pretty, this is a pretty good example. I think Resident Evil is a pretty scary game. It's not jump scary. Nowadays, we think like a scary game has to be like, oh, I should die, I should die, I should die, it's jump scare. Way back in the day, Resident Evil, Silent Hill, games like those were about atmosphere. Then with games like Slender and a bunch of other things, nowadays it seems like everything is jump scare oriented. Orient <laughs> This is why I don't make YouTube videos for a living, because I'm retarded. In the old Resident Evil games, you could fight back, and then Slender came out, and Amnesia came out, and these games, like, blew waves in the industry, and you could no longer fight back. That was an innovation back then, was that you could no longer fight back, you were helpless. Your only option was to run away from monsters, and that's cool. Until it's not cool anymore. In Resident Evil, you have to, like, really think about your, like, your ammo and your health, whether or not you engage or, you know, run away. It's a really cool, there's so much like brain stuff that goes into, I see an enemy, what do I do about it? In Slender, it's like, I see the guy. Amnesia's like, I see the guy. Better hide in this closet, better go away now. And Amnesia is even more guilty, I think, of having this terrible effect on horror games in general because it introduced hiding in closets which is now a staple in the industry amnesia outlast like all these games you see lockers in them it's a scary game because it has lockers in it and you have to hide in the lockers in order to hide from the bad guys what hide and seek gameplay isn't awful but i don't think it's very interesting and i'm really sick and tired of seeing it so now the five nights of freddy's comes along where every single video game is just a ripoff of Amnesia and Slender. Five Nights at Freddy's, you cannot move. It was a big innovation. You can close the doors. Every single part of the game kind of makes you panic. And when the first game came out, nobody knew like what really the rules are. Nowadays, like you play the game and it's like, Bonnie always comes on the left and Chica's always on the right. But when it first came out, like imagine like it's the brand new game. You don't know anything about like they move. You can see them. Can you see them move? When will they move? How often do they move? Do I need to like... You didn't, we didn't know anything, but in a hide and seek game, then it's like, there's a locker because I will have to hide in that locker. It's, it doesn't, it's just, it's like, it's okay. That's a, like a staple in the video game language. You know how they have video game language where it's like, I see this thing. And because of previous experiences in other games, I just know that this thing is meant to be jumped on, or this thing is going to bounce me over here. You know, it's a video game language between the developer and the player and just it's just a very common thing and video uh, lockers in video games is definitely one of the things in horror games that i think is overstated and overplayed and i'm really sick and tired of it which is why it's so disappointing now to see five nights at freddy's which was such an innovation in horror games now come out with security breach where you walk around and turn on generators and you and you have to run away from the guys and hide Now granted, innovation is really hard, and innovation is really, really hard, and it's really hard to innovation, but you know what? I think it's worth it, and I don't think that it's worth making a game just for the sake of making a game. 
I think if you're going to make a song, if you're going to make a YouTube video or a channel or anything, especially a video game, especially a horror game, it should really actually stand out and be memorable and be something else instead of just like another game to add to the heaping pile of trash. There's a lot of things in this video that I'm probably going to talk about more later. I really want to talk about that heaping pile of trash, specifically the peeping pile of trash that we have building up in our backyard nowadays of just absolute trash tier media that we're consuming as if it, there's no tomorrow. Oh man, I'll make it. Oh man, I'll talk about all of that. I'm going to talk about all of that so good. But until then, like, I hope that uh, you, I hope everything goes well for you and I hope the the best um i don't i'm still trying to figure out how to make these videos <laughs> let me know if i ramble too much if you have like suggestions like i'm not like i always hate it when youtubers are like let me know what you guys want to see but like honestly I'm, I'm really just trying to like make these videos and i like making them and i like making them good so like if you have suggestions of things that i should do with these videos then let me know, because I'm, I'm curious to see what you would say. I'm, I'm really... Anyways, 